now let's start in the zone I'm just creating new stroke new structure I'm creating inside I'm going to create some new subs that's all inside this uh, sub substructure we need to model the box foundations we can use a model uh, by the box you can give new box otherwise you can go here go to acute my end this box we, we can get from here so new box go to this attributes you can give the x length 2000 3000 and uh, this will be footing thickness will be 400 so just i'm dragging here So this is our block foundation box one. Now I am going to model the pedestal. Same procedure. Um, box. You can change the value of this by 450. 450. Into 50. So you can place it here. box this point mm, here you can give by 450 by 450 by 1250 so B will be 1250 so we get the box here if you want to move to the center pick this one go to home move offset or position position also you can use this up value you can lock select this point to this point so you can lock this one you can select this bottom point then you can pick any location here so select this point to this point Offset. I'm picking this point to this point 625. Okay, so now we completed the foundation footing and the pedestal. Now I'm going to model the PCC. I'm just copying this box and pasting inside. So this I am giving now all round 75 2150. 3150 this will be 50 thick or 75 thick bending concrete we can change the thickness just we can move from here to here that's all so so now we completed the footing pedestal and the binding concrete now we will see how to model the grout go here again uh, this general next we can go for this pyramid this pyramid I'm just picking here otherwise 
guys just you can delete this okay type new pyramid new pyramid just go here go to attributes type the values mm -hmm. x bottom will be the 450 y bottom will be 450 i'm going to give the 25th grout so i'm offsetting i'm minusing that value here 400 400 height will be 25 thick now go here move position I just want to keep here so grout also done we completed on uh, footing it is in the substructure it is like a block so if you want to copy you can select this you can give the copy offset number of copies 2 by 4 meter yes so you can copy like this okay thank you friends next we will try to model now we are going to see how to model the plates again I am just going to create one more screw inside the screw I am going to create new framework new subframe ok so inside the subframe we can create the plates Go to structures plates. You can create the rectangular plates by two points. Just click somewhere here. Okay, so this is a normal plate. So one more time I'll tell you. Just click somewhere here. If you know the east value and north value, you can give east will be and giving now six hundred. 800 0 so this is my plate size this is a panel now you can modify the thickness by go by changing in the properties if you want you can change thirty thick grout or 30 thick grating sorry so when you want to model some grating you can use this rectangular plate panel now we will try to model some slabs ok so this one I am just going to copy uh, and we will try to place some slabs 6000 So if you want to model some grade slab or over this, so you can add some plates. I'm just picking this point to this point. So we can change the thickness if you want 200, 300, like a slab, floor slab you can use this panel so now you want to modify or you need to add some openings here some cutout just select this panel you can make the negative by rectangular two points negative rectangle by two points you can select here if you know the distance otherwise just simply simply go here type new end box new end cylinder 
you can type inbox if you want to give some 500 square opening or 500 by 400 square opening thickness the floor slab will be 200 you can give the same 200 so move position you can check where it is it is somewhere here so just lock the z value otherwise you can keep this point move offset move offset lock the this value by east i want to give by one meter by south 1.5 meter View graphics representation most of it is there. Okay, if it's not visible, just try to change some thickness and we can check. Okay, so now you got the openings here. Same way, end cylinder go move position. I just want to keep somewhere here okay now i want to give screen height diameter will be 500 or, or 800 some big opening so you can move this by haste okay by d50 so this is a simple way to model the panel with cutouts if you have some pipe projections that that case if you select the pipe you can give the uh, offset you can make the opening also it's very simple okay guys thank you friends please subscribe my channel thank you